Leviticus. I'm an unreformed hoarder. Alan, what are you? Vintage, built to last. I am coming to you from the Topanga Vintage Market. So this is a much smaller market in Los Angeles. It happens on the fourth Sunday of the month. I like it because it's just really easy to do, especially with my fam in tow. It's five bucks to get in. There's a like, little less than 200 vendors. And every time I've come here, I have found amazing deals, like $5 vintage Levi's. Um, you know, really great, like home decor and artwork. Okay, does this look familiar? I have this in orange. Oh, this is so good. I love a good leisure set. Look at this caftan, it's so cool. I love this print, I love the color. That trim. I've been on the hunt for vintage table linens or even bed sheets I can use as linens. Look at how pretty these are. These are great for patio furniture and they're just really easy. They're not fussy and I just think it's a really great way to like just spice things up for spring and summer. I really like this knit skirt. It's just the long maxi skirt, but unfortunately it has a ton of holes. And at that point it's not worth it to get because repairing knits is just impossible. At least in my opinion, it just always looks horrible. Because this market is laid out just like a giant square and it's smaller, I always walk to the back and then just do row by row. And honestly, you could do this market in a couple of hours. And if you're in LA and you wanna do one of the markets with your kids, I would say this is a good one. Very fun layering piece. And then this caught my eye. Just the color and the fringe are so good. I would probably negotiate the price down to around 90 but I feel like this is such a fun alternative to a classic black suede or leather jacket. I think if you are just a more simple gal who likes just a little bit of spice to the outfits, I think this is like a good classic piece to have in your closet. And I hate when people say fringe is not classic. It has been popular and trending for a hundred years. Okay, I'm not usually into kitschy stuff like this, but this is so cute. This would be so great to use on the patio for parties, along with like my vintage floral tablecloth. I mean, I think that would be really fun. These are so adorable, but that's a lot. There's always sales like this happening here, so you have to dig through a lot. I feel like PCC and especially Rose Bowl are highly curated. This one's just like really good for digging if you love that. child season is upon us. I think I'm good in this department because I have a two-piece set, I have a jumpsuit, I have a dress, but I still look for them. These are the most comfortable things to wear during the summer months and they're just so beautiful. They're really, really delicate. All the pieces I have are just so stunning, but I'm gonna maybe buy one more dress just so I have a backup.
talking about this for years, but Cachet is going to make such a big comeback. It was one of those like bougie stores at the mall across from Abercrombie, at least in the 90s. And this is the brand. You can find them at thrift stores or at flea markets. I think this is kind of expensive, but if you love maximalist vibes, gaudy gold, cachet is it. I always look in this section because you can find so many cool brooches and pins and what I like to do with these is just hang them on a chain necklace to make it into like a really fab like statement necklace. Look at how great these are. I love statement earrings because they can jazz up any outfit even like a really simple jeans and a t-shirt and if you hate clip-on earrings because they hurt or they slip off I actually posted something on YouTube Shorts and Instagram about my hacks. It's just adding this padded cushion plus like double stick tape and it'll stay forever. break for sequins and beads, especially when it's Lawrence Gazar. These quilted bedroom jackets are so great as layering pieces, especially in the spring and summer. I have a couple, one is floral and the other one is like a bright fuchsia. Okay, can we take a moment for my Hulkin? So I bought this two years ago because of a Facebook ad and I absolutely love it. I gave up my traditional shopping cart for this because not only can you wear it like a tote, but you can just roll it around it even has this so you can just pull it and it's amazing so in case of this video didn't give it away but the topanga market is so low-key it's much smaller it's really easy to navigate it's doable in two hours and even though it's about a 30 minute drive from like pasadena i like it because if i miss every other market in the month like Long Beach, Rose Bowl, PCC, I still have one final chance to come and the prices here are really, really good. When tags are cut out like this, I get a little suspect that it's not vintage, it's newer. Um, so then I just take a look at just the quality, the craftsmanship and just the overall feel, the print, just to make sure that it is vintage, especially if they are pricing it at vintage, but 15 bucks is you know okay i feel like you could find this at the thrift for 10 or less beautiful color craftsmanship i, I love this Also the season for vintage sheer robes. These are so cute over little like camis and jeans. Absolutely love this color. And I just sold one like it too. <laughs> our flea market date today thanks for tuning in i'll see you next friday at 8 a.m violet can you say bye, bye. <laughs>